Hey everyone, welcome to Geeks for Geeks. I am Ishan Sharma and in today's video, I will be talking about the five reasons why you should be learning Python in the year of 2021. Let's get started with today's video. So Python is a really important language, right? I learned Python and that was the first language that I learned when I was learning to code. And talking about the reasons, the first reason why you should be learning Python is just the easy to understand code. It's very simple for you to understand the syntax of Python. If you take an example of writing a hello world program, that is the first program that every single person writes in Python versus in Java, you would understand how exactly everything is working in Python. You just write print hello world versus if you were to write the same thing in Java, you would have to write something like public, static, void, main and all. And that can be difficult for people who are new to programming to understand in the first day itself. So that's why I think that it's very easy for you to understand Python in the first attempt itself. Moving on to the next reason why you should be learning Python and that is going to be the large developer base. So there are almost 8.2 million developers as of 2019 that know Python language. Now these stats can be vague, but it gives you an idea about how many people are learning Python. Now you might be thinking that there are so many people learning Python. Why should I learn Python right now? Doesn't it mean that the market is saturated? And I don't think that, right? And here's why. The number one reason why I think you should be happy about this number is Whenever you have some error, whenever you have some bug in your Python code, you can just simply search it up on Stack Overflow or some other website and there would be a lot of developers that had the same issue that you had. And so it would be very simple for you to find out a solution to your problem. And secondly, just because there are so many people that are learning Python, the support for this language would be for a lot of time and you would be getting some new updates every now and then. So that is the second reason why you should be learning Python in 2021. Moving on to the third one, this one is going to be the low development time or the low build time. What I mean by that is this, let's say you have to print, uh, print a program that prints out Fibonacci numbers, right? The Fibonacci series. If you were to do that in Python versus if you were to do that in Java or some other language, uh, you would find out that it's very simple for you to implement something in Python, right? Versus in Java or some other language like C++ or others. Now there's a lot of abstraction going on in Python. A lot of the things that you would not see on the surface is hidden behind the curtains. Okay. And that means that you can just write some code very quickly and you can experiment with it. If you were to implement some kind of algorithm on Python versus on some other language, you will understand very simply that Python is just very simple. You can simply just start writing and the code would be very much less when compared to some other programming languages. So this was the third reason why you should consider learning Python. Moving on to the fourth one is going to be the applications of Python. Once you have learned Python, you can implement it on a lot of applications, right? I personally have implemented Python into five or seven different fields. Uh, but talking about the applications, the most prominent one is going to be machine learning and data science, right? Whenever someone is learning data science or machine learning, their go-to language is Python. Python in data science offers you some modules like you have NumPy, you have Pandas, you have Matplotlib, you have sklearn, you have scipy. And by using all of these modules, it is very simple for you to just take up some data set and make some model out of it and predict something. That is why data science and machine learning is actually a big application of Python. If you want to go into machine learning, you can take a look at TensorFlow, you can take a look at PyTorch. Now the third application of Python would actually be web development. You can very simply just use Django and Flask to create some backend of a website and you can use Python for doing that. There are several other applications as well. You can create virtual assistants. You can do some automation as well. You can also create your own games with the help of Pygame. You can also use a turtle module and tkinter to create some GUIs, graphical user interfaces. So there are a lot of applications of Python. You can also do web scraping as well, right? So I hope you get the idea. This was the fourth point. There are a lot of applications of Python. Now the fifth reason is going to be the opportunities that are available for a Python developer. If you take a look at the salary of an average average Python developer in India, it is about nine to 12 lakh rupees per annum, which is really good for a fresher who is just coming out of college. And you can also take a look at some internships. You can take a look at freelancing. I remember in my own college, there is a senior 
who got his first internship in an AI based startup when he was in his first year itself. And over there, he was basically implementing some machine learning models, right? So he learned Python, he learned machine learning, and he got his first internship. So that is what I wanted to understand. There are a lot of opportunities for a Python developer. So yeah, these were a few reasons why you should be learning Python in 2021. Uh, I have only talked about the plus points about Python. There are also some negatives as well, uh, like there is with every other programming language. You know, it is very much slow when you compare it with C++ or Java, but uh, of course, you have to understand there are some pros, there are some cons as well. But in general, I think this is a great language for you to learn in 2021. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, you can post them in the comment section below and make sure that you subscribe to this channel and I will see you all in the next video.